First, we'll cover Hurricane Aaron quickly, a big storm. It has really just expanded in size as we were looking for it to do so. And that means even though it is not going to directly hit the U.S. or Bermuda or indeed the Caribbean islands where it has been brushing past over the past several days, even though there's no direct strike, it is going to bring some impacts to the Outer Banks and the outside coastal spots of North Carolina, it looks like, and eventually will pass and get kind of shunted off to the east pretty quickly here with this tight curve away from the northeast U.S. due to some upper level winds here, a jet stream guiding it out. Our European model, for example, showing the storm continuing to the north here, and this might be the roughest time early Thursday, so Wednesday night, early Thursday for around North Carolina. We will also see a trough of low pressure guiding this next surface front across the eastern part of the U.S. as well. And then again, this will get caught up in those high winds in the upper atmosphere, taking it away from the northeast U.S. and out over the northern Atlantic while we continue with that front settling near us. Unfortunately, not bringing cooler air or drier air for us, but helping with rain chances. Now, some people across the northeastern part of the U.S. and even along other parts of the East Coast will eventually get some dry air uh, kind of swirling in around Aaron as it continues out to the east. But for us, it's just going to enhance our rain chance. It looks like this weekend and help our temperatures come down a little bit, mainly because of the clouds and rain. Two other spots are out behind Aaron in the tropics. Here is one and it is not an organized system at all. This is one tropical wave. 60% chance now of developing though. The next name on the list is Fernand. And then we have another wave coming out just now emerging from the coast of Senegal here near the Cabo Verde Islands. This one a 30% low chance of development. But just to kind of give you a look at where these might end up, first of all, this one might take a path. That's Aaron, similar to Aaron. We're looking here at rotation in the atmosphere, that kind of spin that would be associated with a tropical system. Notice this next system, the one out farther, uh, may just still be a messy slug of moisture, and this one might actually drift farther south, so might end up just bringing some messy moisture over to South America or maybe eventually into the extreme Southern Caribbean Sea. While look at this next system with a 60% chance of development, this might take a path similar to Aaron or maybe even farther out in the Atlantic. So maybe fewer problems for the extreme eastern coast of North Carolina, but also maybe a few more problems potentially for Bermuda in terms of rain or some gusty winds. The steering is going to be similar to Aaron. Big high pressure here. Another one over the southeastern U.S. and Gulf of Mexico. So that might give it that weakness, that same one that Aaron is uh, tapping into and then eventually guide it out to the north from those strong upper level winds farther to the north. So for us, no tropical threats, maybe even if models are correct in the longer term, uh, all the way through the end of August, potentially, and our seven day forecast shows